Hey, what's up, everybody? Llama here. We're back with the uh, Blue Jays franchise part four, I think. And as you can see here, we're at the trade screen real quick. So got offered this trade by the Athletics. They're going to give us uh, Josh Reddick, who is a right fielder last year of his contract, 28 years old, 79 overall in exchange for a pitching prospect, which uh, we have a lot of uh, solid pitchers in our uh, farm system is pretty deep with prospects. So this is a good trade for us, especially since one of our outfielders has a 64 overall, which is not good at all. So we'll... Uh, take him out of the starting lineup. I think uh, he's still on the bench suit and gets down, sent down to the minors. He's like 19 or 20, but uh, Reddick will get the start. And then our right fielder, I move over to center field. So now we've got a uh, solid hitter and a solid outfielder. So it definitely helps us out. As you can see, we're taking on the Royals here and our records, not what I would like it to be. Um, so far, we're about near the trade deadline, I think like two weeks away. And we are sitting at 47 and 58. So 11 games behind, uh, they're under 500. And then I think we were, um, about 10 or 11 out of first place, and uh, I don't know what the wild card standings were. I think it was like 7 or 8, but uh, we can definitely make it up. So I don't want to have to trade everyone away on our team. I'd like to get a nice winning streak here. I don't think uh, we're bad enough to where we have to just kind of trade all of our uh, older veterans away for prospects. I think even if we miss the playoffs this year, we can still contend next year, but um, I don't want to just like kill our team or anything like that. But get a game against the Royals here, which is weird since uh, I never really see people put games up against the Royals. But... Playing in Toronto in Rogers Stadium. I love this uh, stadium playing here. I like the uh, look of the field and stuff like this. And there you can see early on, Lorenzo Kane's going to hit an RBI double for the Royals. And they're going to take a uh, pretty early lead against us. So definitely hurts when you give up the lead early. Salvador Perez is up in the top of the first. 3 1 is the count. Here is the 30th pitch of the inning. And Sanchez is going to walk him. So. You can see the pitch count is definitely getting up there for Sanchez. This is going to be the 32nd pitch of just the first inning. 1-1 one, one is the count. Loaded bases. That one's going to third. Donaldson gets under it, and he's going to throw to first to uh, Encarnacion for the out. So we definitely get out of a jam there. Royals do pick up one run, but it could have been way worse for us. So I'm pretty lucky to get out of that. So we're going to go to the top of the third here. You can see Sanchez is in trouble again. As again, the Royals have loaded the bases, but he gets the strike out there on a nasty curveball. So he gets other, out of another giant jam there. But um, the Royals scored one more run, I think, that inning before. So I forgot to put it in for whatever reason. But go bottom of the third, Josh Reddick is making his first plate appearance with the Blue Jays. And that one is going to be off the wall. That looks just like, just like a single, but he's going to go for second. He's going to slide in there easily safe as the throw. Not in time at all. So Reddick with a nice uh, double to start off his... Um, career here in Toronto. Next batter is up in a 3-1 count. That one looks like it might go foul, but it just stays fair. And that will be a ground roll double, so that will score one run for us. Um, so that will cut the lead in half. So it's now 2-1 Kansas City. Next batter is up. 3-1 is a count. That one's grounded right to second base. Second baseman makes a nice little spinning play, but he throws it off the bat. Or the uh, first baseman has to come off the bag because it wasn't on target there. So it's actually going to make the runner safe there, and it'll move over the other runner. So now we got guys on the corners, one out. This one's right back to the pitcher, and he can't play it either. So back-to-back -back errors is going to score one more run for us, and they could have been out of that inning already, but instead... Uh, we only have one out and we scored an extra run with a uh, guy on first, guy on second. Part of our lineup is up now, as you can see, Jose Batista is up in a 1-1 count. And the bottom of the second, 46 pitches, so starting to work the pitch count here pretty good. Batista's got a lot of power. He goes after one way outside the zone, and that one is going to drop right in there to uh, center field, and that will score yet another run. So now we got guys on the corners, nice little RBI single for Batista. Is he really had to uh, stretch out for that one, and that's like why I said I don't want to, like, have to trade away our team even though our record is not what it should be because we've got a lot of stars on our team i think if i play some more games we should be capable of making the playoffs starting pitching's kind of been um so 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 far like it's uh off and on which i don't get because all our guys have good overalls i think burley's got um like a 4-8 era or something ridiculous but he's got like an 85 overall on for our team holy crap i'm burping this is kind of like ruining the commentary here but i already start restarted at once so i don't want to have to go ahead and do it again but there you can see uh next batter broken bat um is gonna beat out the double play in the fielder's choice so another run scores for us runners on the corner again we're gonna have next batter come up in a 3-1 count it's uh russell martin i think i batted around here i think the guy who started the inning ends up coming up uh again this inning in martin with a little RBI double of his own, as you can see, he was thinking about just staying at first, but he goes ahead and runs to second since we know the uh, throw is going to be home. So Martin has got uh, two guys in scoring position for Josh Reddick. Yeah, you can see Reddick, who let off the inning um, earlier, is going to pop that one up, and the catcher will get to it. So finally, Kansas City gets out of what is a nightmare inning for them as the um, 
Blue Jays pick up five runs that inning to make it a 5-2 lead. And Sanchez, 74 pitches as you can see, only in the fifth inning. I was trying to get him through at least six, but he was pitching really bad. He got in two bases loaded jams that he was able to get out of somehow. But again, he gives up another uh, double. So I think I go to the bullpen pretty early here. I don't know if he gets through six or not, but Salvador Perez is up. Runners on the corners. One, two is the count. 91 pitches. That one's dropping in for an RBI single. Nice little play in right field by Redick to cut it off. So that'll hold the runner at second there as he throws right to Donaldson at third. So next batter is going to come up. It's Umar Infante. He is in a full count. 86 pitches. I don't know why I said 90 something before, but 86 pitches so far. So we're going to put Estrada in the bullpen. Or uh, Estrada is in the bullpen. We're going <laughs> to warm him up in the pen. So uh, there you can see he gets uh, somehow he strikes him out with that changeup. It wasn't the location I wanted, but guy swung at an awful inside changeup. So that was pretty good for us. Next batter is up. And that one is crushed at deep center field. That would be going on a lot of ballparks, but you can see that wall is 400 foot deep. So all that's going to do is advance the runner from second to third and the runner will have to stay at uh, first. So Escobar is up now, 3-1 is the count, runners on the corners, and he is gonna get walked by Sanchez. So like I said, who do I bring in to uh, pitch? I just, Estrada, I bring in uh, Marco Estrada, who I think I'm gonna move to our starting rotation. His stats are just retardedly good this year. He's um, got like a 1-5 or a 2 ERA, and anytime I use him in a game when I'm playing it, I always go like four or five innings with the guys. So I'm gonna have to take him out of the uh, bullpen instead of using him in long relief and putting him the starting rotation for uh, one of our struggling pitchers. I think uh, R.A. Dickey's struggling too, and his overall dropped down to 75. So I may try to trade him at the deadline just to see if I can get something for him um, because I don't know if he'll retire after this season for us since his age is like that. Uh, he does throw knuckleballs, and those players usually can last till they're like 45. I think Wakefield, how long that dude played for like 25 years or something insane for Boston. So I don't know. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, like I said, hopefully Dickey doesn't retire, but I'd rather trade him this season and get a uh, prospect for him than have him just suck all season and he would retire next year and I kind of don't get anything. So I'll have to uh, go through the trade screens and see if I um, get anything decent for him. But top of the ninth here, there is one out so far. Next batter is going to uh, pop one up to right field. Reddick is there. It looks like they're going for the sacrifice fly. The throw to home is not on target at all, so that will score a run for them. It'll make it a 5-6 game here, so Kansas City's looking to uh, try to tie this thing up. Next batter is up. 1-1 one, one is the count. The closer, uh, Cecil, is on. He's going to get that one to just paint the bottom left corner there, so 1-2 is the count now. 15th pitch of the inning for him. That one's grounded right to second base. Throw to first for uh, Art Encarnacion as he gets the final out there, so we end up surviving this one against the Royals. 6-5. Starting pitching was a little shaky. But, um, yeah, we came back and won it nicely there. You can see Estrada went like two and two thirds or whatever it was out of the bullpen. So he gets the win. Jose Batista, two for four. And um, I don't know who the player of the game was. Oh, uh, Encarnacion. But it's, oh, 